What is Zoom or Zoom Cloud Meeting? Zoom is a cloud-based video conferencing service you can use to virtually meet with others, either by video or audio only or both, all while conducting live chats, and it lets you record those sessions to view later. Zoom's main features. Here are Zoom's core features. One-on-one -on -one meetings. Host unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings even with the free plan. Group video conferences. Host up to 500 participants if you purchase the large meeting add-on. Free plan, however, allows you to host video conferences of up to 40 minutes and up to 100 participants. Screen sharing. Meet one-on-one -on -one or with large groups and share your screen with them so they can see what you see. Zoom is revolutionizing the way teams collaborate. Whether you're connecting multiple conference rooms or adding remote attendees, meeting face-to-face -face is as simple as a single touch. With the highest video and audio quality, joining a conference remotely is as natural as being there. Feature-rich and yet easy to use, the Zoom mobile and desktop apps bring the whole experience together with built-in group chat. Transform your video conferencing experience with Zoom. How to prevent Zoom bombing in a few easy steps. Don't share your Zoom link or code on social media. Set a meeting password. Create a waiting room. Set screen sharing to host only. Turn off the annotation feature. Restrict other features as needed in host controls. Disable allow remove participants to rejoin. Make sure you're running the latest version of Zoom. Security tips every teacher and professor needs to know about Zoom right now. When possible, don't announce meetings on social media or other public outlets. Instead, send messages only to the participants using email or group settings in Signal. WhatsApp, or other messenger programs. Carefully inspect the list of participants periodically, whenever possible. This can be done by the organizer or trusted participants. The users who are unauthorized can be booted. Keep up to date, like any user facing service, Zoom suffers from security vulnerabilities but it's so far proven that it can fix them quickly. Therefore, one of the important steps you can take is to make sure you keep any installed version of the Zoom mobile or desktop app up to date. Use passwords to protect your meeting and never share your meeting ID. Never share the link or meeting ID on public platforms and try not to use the personal meeting ID instead allow Zoom to generate a random ID for each meeting. Share the password securely. When using Zoom, securely sharing the password can be a challenge. In any case, don't put the password on the public internet. Use waiting rooms. Use the waiting room functionality as a host and double up with a meeting password for designated guests. To avoid an even more embarrassing Zoom bombing experience, set the screen sharing to host only and disable file transfer. Take control of your privacy. Control your own privacy as you do with all online tools. Use powerful antivirus software. For example, Quick Heal Total Security. Carefully control screen sharing. The user settings allow organizers to set sharing settings by default. People who rarely need sharing should turn it off altogether by sliding the button to the right to off. 
and the event participants require screen sharing, the slider should be turned on and the setting for only the host to share should be turned on. Organizers should allow all participants to share screens only when the host knows and fully trusts everyone in the meeting. And while you're at it, disable the join before host settings so that organizers can control the meeting from its very start. Use the waiting room option to admit participants. This will prevent admittance of trolls should they have slipped through the two cardinal defenses. Lock a meeting, when possible, once it's underway. This will prevent unauthorized people from joining later. Locking a meeting can be accomplished by clicking Manage Participants and using the controls that appear on the right of the meeting window. Manage Participants also allows an organizer to mute all participants, eject select participants, or stop select participants from appearing by video. Be aware of everything that's within view of your camera. Whether working from home or in office, there may be diagrams, drawings, notes, or other things you don't want other participants to see. Remove these from view of the camera before the meeting starts. Beyond the above advice, Zoom users should consider using a browser like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, etc. to connect to meetings rather than the dedicated Zoom app. Zoom makes the web option difficult to find after clicking on the join a meeting link for the hackers and crackers. Do not schedule a meeting, because the schedule meeting will give you limited time options like 0, 15, 30 or 45 minutes. If you will try for 45 minutes, it will show an error message, as we are using free version. It is better to set a time for the meeting and send the time to your group earlier via message or WhatsApp. After then send ID and password just before 5 minutes. Precautions one should take before starting Zoom meeting. First click New Meeting button. Go to the Security tab and uncheck screen share option and rename themselves options then click the up arrow button just beside the share screen tab and select advanced sharing option Now click invite button to open invite people to join meeting dialog box. Here you will get auto generated ID and password. Like ID is 714-2490-2518-0. And password is 4K20UV. Password is case sensitive, so insert carefully. This method will help you to generate random ID and password. Send this ID and password to your participants just before 5 minutes as it will be very difficult for the hackers to trace the ID and passwords in such a limited time. When the participant will join the meeting, they will appear in the participant list. Always remember to click end meeting button to close the meeting successfully.